Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you what you can look for when deciding who to buy a manufactured home from. I get a lot of comments on my channel asking for advice on who to buy from in a certain area or which factory builds the best homes. Over the years, I've sold new homes from three different factories, and if you include used, I've sold homes from six or seven different factories. There are factories all over Canada and the United States, so the big question becomes, are all manufactured homes created equal? The answer to that is yes and no. On the one hand, all new manufactured homes have to be built to a certain standard, which will depend on where you live. In Canada, it's CSA Z240, which is the national standard for manufactured homes. From what I understand in the States, new manufactured homes are built to a code administered by the US Department of Housing and Urban Development, AKA HUD. So yes, in a sense, in both countries, within that country, new manufactured homes are all created equal in that they have to meet a certain minimum standard. Beyond the minimum requirement is where there can be major differences and a manufacturer can set itself apart from everyone else in the space. In this video, I'm gonna give you a few ways you can easily compare between manufacturers and dealers so you can make an educated decision on what brand from what dealer is gonna be the best fit for you. The easiest way to compare apples to apples is to get the standard feature sheet from every dealer you visit. All that is, is a piece of paper that shows what comes standard in the home if you were to order it without adding any extra upgrades. Looking at the standard feature sheet will help you eliminate all the noise. When you visit a dealer's lot and tour their show homes, very few, if any, will bring in homes that are 100% standard because they want the wow factor. So let's say you're looking for a two bedroom, two bathroom home. The first company you stop at has one on the lot. It's built by manufacturer A. You really like the layout from manufacturer A, but the finishes are just a little bit too plain. It has carpet, it doesn't have a full tile backsplash, and it comes with white appliances. So you decide to keep looking. You stop at another company just up the road because they have the exact same layout, but it's built by manufacturer B. You walk in and right away you absolutely love this home. It has hardwood floors, quartz countertops, and even has a gas fireplace in the living room. It's easy to see this is the higher quality home, right? Wrong. What you're looking at is what I like to call lipstick and rouge. To be clear, there's absolutely nothing wrong with adding really nice upgrades to a home. In fact, I would encourage it. Just don't base your judgment on the overall quality of the home on those items. If you really wanna learn more about the quality of the home, you're gonna find that information on the standard feature sheet. Manufacturer A didn't put as many upgrades into that particular home, so it seemed like it might be lower quality, but what if it's better insulated? What if it had 30 year shingles instead of 25? What if it had a high efficiency furnace and low E windows? The standard feature sheet is gonna tell you everything you need to know to easily compare between companies and give you a really good idea of which home is actually the highest quality build because you can add the upgrades to any and all of them. A lot of times the standard features will be listed on the back of the brochure, but if not, just ask for one. After you've toured all of the dealerships in your area, go home and you can compare all of the standard features between the houses and you can get a really good idea of which one is gonna be the best quality. To make things just a bit confusing, keep in mind that some factories might build a number of series. For example, the factory that I buy from, I can get single wides in the Rocky Mountain series, the Affinity series, or the CJN series, and they all have different standard features. The standard feature sheet is a great tool that you can utilize to compare homes from different factories, as well as homes from the same factory, so you can fully understand which is the best value for what you're actually getting. The next thing to look for is the workmanship throughout the home. Here's the thing, a factory can have the best list of standard features in the entire country, but if the workforce isn't well-trained and skilled in the disciplines required to build a high quality manufactured home, it's gonna be noticeable in the details of how the home is finished. I'm not sitting here claiming to be an expert on hiring or training workforce to build manufactured homes. I'm here to say that the folks actually building the homes are a huge part of the entire process and you will be able to tell which homes were built in a factory with well-trained, skilled individuals and which ones not so much. Some of the biggest giveaways you can look for on the workmanship can be seen on the baseboards, trim around the doors, or in the tile work. 
Now, this stuff is just cosmetic, so I would put way more importance on the standard features list because that's gonna tell you everything that you can't see. With that being said, there are factories that have a great product on paper and follow it up with high quality work when the home is being built. So you can have both. When you walk into a home built by a factory with a team that cares about the product that they're building, you'll be able to tell. The final thing I would suggest taking into consideration when deciding what home to buy from who is the people you will be in direct contact with from whatever dealership you decide to buy from. These people are going to be in your life for an extended period of time, so you might as well like them. Right now, the factory I buy from is booked out six to seven months. Most others in North America are gonna be in the exact same situation, maybe even longer. So whenever possible, it's important to actually like the person that you're gonna be dealing with because they're gonna be in your life for a significant amount of time. It's probably gonna be two to four weeks from the time you meet the person till the time you place the order. Then you've got six or seven months from the order is placed till the time it arrives. Two to four weeks for the home to be set up, depending on how big it is. And then you've got one to two months where you might be in contact with any questions that come up while you're actually living in the home. That's eight months on the low side, nine on the high side, and could be even longer in some areas. That's a long time to have someone in your life, almost a year. At the very least, find someone you don't dislike. You don't have to love them. They're not gonna be coming over to your place for a sleepover when you move in or anything, but they're gonna be in your life for a long enough time that it's something you wanna take into consideration. So when deciding what manufacturer and dealer to buy from, three things to look at are, number one, the standard feature sheet, because you can add upgrades to any home. Looking at the standard feature sheet makes it easier to compare models from different dealers or manufacturers because it tells you more about how the home is built and what is being used. Number two, look at the workmanship in the homes on the lot. This will give you a really good idea of the skill level of the workforce in the factory. Key things to look at, dead giveaways, are baseboards, door trim, and tile work. Finally, think about who you wanna have in your life for the next eight to nine months, and if the homes they're selling meet the first two criteria, you're good to go. This one isn't critical. I would be far more concerned with the first two points, but if you like the person you're dealing with, it's just an added bonus. Keep in mind, if you buy the manufactured home that has the best standard features built by the most skilled workforce from the greatest person in the world, the price is likely going to reflect that. Don't get discouraged. Remember that manufactured homes have to be built to a certain standard. So if you don't get the best of the best, there is still a lot of good other options. By taking these things into consideration while you're on your new manufactured home search, you should be able to get as much value as you possibly can while staying within your budget, which should be everyone's goal. The more you know about the entire manufactured home buying process, the easier it's gonna to be to recognize the best deal for you when you see it. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.